again. This is uh, another addition to bag and board. Uh, this this one shouldn't be as long as the other one. Cause it's just one issue this time, but I thought it was an interesting little cover here. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that uh, almost half of the the illustration is actually just like the title and all of the uh, the information there, and the image is only this bottom piece here. But I thought that this was a, a neat illustration. That's the whole reason that I picked this one up. If you want to take a look there, uh, you know that's that's elongated man in his his old school costume before he was white and purple. Uh, and I, I just thought that this was a neat cover. Like she's just like you know, seemed to me like she was just like taunting these guys. And it, it's just a good illustration. I I can't tell if it was the same artist who did the interior. I don't know if it was Kurt Swan who also did the the cover. I would I would have to assume so, but uh, you know this this was back in the day where uh, they were just kind of starting to credit stuff. You know, they don't even they don't even say who the letterer was or anything. You know, that stuff was spotty back in the day. So I would have to assume that it's. That's him, but the the inking does look different. So that, you know, it's very possible that something else is going on with it. But it, the context, you know, a lot of these like covers are like, ooh, you know, get you to read it, and it doesn't actually happen. It does actually sort of happen. I just thought I would, I would point that out there. She's in an alternate dimension where. Uh, Uh, women are subject to hypnotism to do men's bidding, you know, and it brings up an interesting talking point because, you know, what happens is these evil aliens, some of the women escape to our dimension, but the reverse effect happens on them, you know, like, they suddenly want to be oppressed in it because they're in the mirror world, so it flip their emotions when they when they travel, so that was the interesting thing going on, but, uh, and apparently this is Wonder Woman when she wasn't on the Justice League, the reason Elongated Man's following her like a creep with this video camera here is because, uh, he's supposed to be monitoring her to submit, because he's arguing that they should let her back on the Justice League, so I guess this is when she got kicked off. For not having powers or something, and she just got them back recently because they did a whole run with Wonder Woman not having powers. So maybe this is immediately after that. But the, the artwork on the inside is great. You know, it's that typical kind of goofy story. But uh, let me let me find it. I just saw that when I was flipping through. Especially here, like look at these look at these faces, and with such minimal lines too. Look at that. That you know, the, this is some good stuff. But it, it has it has an interesting talking point because you know obviously the uh, alternate dimension men are evil because they're trying to take over. superior, blah, 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 and, uh, they've, they've enslaved all the women here, and, you know, uh, but Wonder Woman stops them from taking revenge, and she just, you know, she destroys the hypnotizing machine and brings them back to our world, where the, you know, and that destroying the machine prevents the hypnosis thing, where, you know, they, they're, they don't suddenly flip to the opposite now that they're in the new dimension, so they can live out normal lives. But beforehand, there was also, you know, the other flip side is there's this, before we learn about these evil male aliens, because part of their plan is to abduct feminists from our world and, you know, hypnotize them as well so that they lecture the, 
the women in their dimension to go along with everything. And what happens here is there's a, a, a man and a woman tennis match, you know, battle of the sexes kind of thing, and she disappears because the aliens take her away, but no one knows that. But the the feminists all freak out and, like, assume that he, you know, the male player had something to do with it, and one wrote, <laughs> re, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Wonder Woman gains control of the, the crowd. And it, you know, it was, it was just an interesting thing because, you know, with the, the a lot of the political stuff that, that's happening uh, today, this kind of showed the extremes of, of both sides. You know, it showed that, you know, the feminists acting all nuts and militant. and uh, But then it also showed that, yeah, you know, Don't, you know, you should treat women with respect too. So, and Wonder Woman was in the middle of all that. She mediated between both sides of the issue, and you know, just uh, it illustrated the point that an extreme, you know, too much of of an extreme one way or the other is is a bad thing, and that both sides should respect each other and try to find a mutual mutual ground. And that's what's. Uh, you know, that's what Wonder Woman's all about. So, I thought that that was nice. You know, a, a true feminist message of, of equality. So I, I can I can dig it, uh, as they as they said back in the seventies here. But yeah, that's about it. The last thing I want to point out is because I was having tape malfunctions last uh, last video, I got these uh, resealable bags. Uh, I don't know if you can see the brand names. I like tore, tore the top of it off. But I think they're just called Signature Series. So I would recommend these. You know, they've got all the good, you know, acid free, all that standard size fit, fits most, if not all. And what's great is they have these little peel away, and then it's sticky here. And you can just kind of open it and close it that way. And you don't have to worry about tape. And I, I think that that's great. So plug for something I'm not even involved with, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably still have to wind up dealing with tape, though, just because when I, you know, when, when you buy them, they tend to come in their own bags. The only reason I'm bagging them myself is to replace whatever they had, or if they came without bags. So. But that's it. Uh, a little bit shorter than last time. Next time, I think I might tackle uh, uh these total justice issues based on um, the action figures, so that might be, because I need to file those away next, so that, that might be the next one. Alright, see you around.